Hi, welcome to a special edition of Education Matters. This is our part of our series of talking with the uh, eighth graders throughout the state, our dialogue with eighth graders about their experience during the pandemic and during the school in general. Uh, we were with some students from uh, Warren County. Um, so let's get to it. I'm always interested in hearing what they have to say about their experience. You know, we've done this for many years, but this, your seventh and eighth grade year has been different than other students before you because you had to deal with the pandemic pretty much for both seventh and eighth grade. So that's a lot of differences. You, you may do a lot more virtual learning. You had to do mass. So it was very difficult. But what were some of the things that you, you know, the biggest challenges you had? And maybe some ways that you learned to overcome them or what were the th lessons you learned? And please introduce yourself. Zoe, we'll start with you. I'm Zoe, I'm from Oxford Central School and I live in Washington, New Jersey. Um, so some challenges that I had uh, throughout uh, this pandemic in school is probably switching between in-person school, virtual learning, and then hybrid learning because everything was just so last second and you didn't know what was gonna happen and when. And it, it, was, it was rough, but it was, I feel like it shaped everybody to be a good person. Okay, we all had to adjust and do it. Dominic, what about you? Hi, I'm Dominic DeMeo and I go to Warren Hills Middle School. And um, I think some of the biggest challenges was the transition from seventh to eighth grade because seventh grade felt a lot easier with all the COVID restrictions and everything there. And then eighth grade, you got into the regular curriculum again and everything was back to normal. Yeah, it seems like both of you had that Nothing was consistent. <laughs> you had to always adjust to something. Um, well, talking about adjustment, we all had to adjust, not just you and your classmates, but the teachers and all the adults. Um, during your educational career, has there been any um, teacher or staff member who has stood out to make you a better student and made your educational experience better? Zoe? My writing teacher, Mrs. Dollard, has made a huge impact on me educationally. And she, she helped me find my voice as a writer. And I personally absolutely love to write. So having her to help guide me into the right direction of where I wanted to go and where I wanted to take writing has been really helpful. And she's an absolutely huge inspiration. Yeah, that's great. Dominic, what about you? Uh, so my civics teacher, Mr. Pian Cohn, uh, definitely helped me a lot because he does these IEW writing things called the KWL keyword outline. And every week we get one and it helps you write better about like just history in general. And um, it improves your writing skills and grammar and everything. All right. I'm going to ask you for some advice. Uh, if your principal came up to you or the superintendent schools or anyone in a leadership position at school and said, what can we do for the, you know, the middle school experience, seventh and eighth grade, that you think would improve the education for most students uh, and make them better students? Uh, Zoe, what would you say? I would say uh, to effectively deal with any negative behaviors of some other students, including how they may harass and bully their classmates and in some cases, even their teachers. In the past couple of years, even prior to COVID, uh, some students have created a negative environment in the classroom as well as the school. And if administrators and teachers were somehow able to override the parents who could possibly make excuses for their children or uh, something like that and help uh, make the learning environment better so can we appreciate this? I'm sorry. I'm having a bad moment. No, you were doing really good. That's a really good thing. So start over. Uh, th this is the, one of the advantages to the technology is we, we can start over. And so go again, because I like yours is very different and it's interesting. All right. I would say um, to effectively deal the negative behaviors of some of the other students, including how they could possibly harass and bully their classmates along with their teachers 
And in the past couple of years, prior to COVID even, some of the students have created a very negative environment in the classroom, as well as in school in general. If administrators or teacher were, teachers were in any way somehow able to override any parents who could possibly make excuses for their children's behavior or their actions, I feel that more students would feel more comfortable at school, resulting in an overall more positive learning experience. Great, that's very interesting. Uh, you're really concerned about the school environment. Dominic? Um, so I think something that could help is we have this period called an intervention and enrichment period where we pretty much can just do work or get extra help from our teachers. And I think that period could be turned into a little bit more like educational period maybe. And we could get more skills in a subject or we could get a completely new subject that could help in our future lives and yeah. Okay, that's good, that's good too. Um, all right, the last question is a two-part question. Uh, you're going to high school, you're graduating from eighth grade pretty soon, uh, but you'll be going to high school. Um, uh, so you may not be changing buildings, Dominic, but, uh, but anyway, uh, so what are you nervous about in high school? What are you looking forward to in high school? Uh, and then beyond high school, what are you thinking about? What do you, are you thinking about college, the military? Maybe you have a career already planned out. Maybe you're thinking about uh, medicine or law. So Zoe? In high school, I'm really looking forward to finding myself as a person and getting involved with theater and art programs, as well as meeting new people and making new friends and taking classes that I've never taken before. So I get to like really branch out and find who I am as a person. And I'll have that opportunity to branch out from the small Oxford Central community and my small street in Washington. And I am slightly nervous to transfer to such a large school because coming from Oxford and going to the Warren Hills High School is a huge change because it's going from maybe 32 students a class to about like, like hundreds of students. So that's a little scary. And I'm gonna have new classmates and new teachers, but I am overall more excited than I am nervous. And after high school, I would absolutely love it if I could get into Rutgers University and get a degree in wildlife biology because after college, I have this dream to buy a van gut it entirely and live out of it with my dog and we would travel all over the country and I want to work as a wildlife biologist and maybe incorporate writing into becoming a national park ranger and I'd also love to see anything with art or dance coming through in my career as well. Okay, I knew you were gonna say something about writing in there because you said it before. So uh, uh, Dominic, what about you? So when I move up to the high school building, I am very nervous for finding my way around the school because the middle school is a lot smaller compared to the high school. And the high school has like a lot, like a lot of rooms, like 300, I'm pretty sure. And finding my way around, I think is gonna be a little hard at first, uh, but I'm excited to try out for the soccer team and other sports teams along with basketball during the year. And I'm excited for uh, biology in high school because I always enjoyed like the type of science subject. And I don't have any plans after high school yet now, but I have thinking about doing something with baking and cooking. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, well, you both will be going to Warren Hills. So at least you know, now you know one other person from another school. So that's that's good. Uh, well, good luck to to uh, to you all. Uh, I think that's going to be. A, I think you have a good head on your shoulders. You'll do okay. Um, so I hope everyone who's uh, listening to this enjoyed this as much as I did.